Let's begin today in child's pose. Come onto your shins and allow your big toes to touch, your knees to go wide, and release your upper body onto your thighs, and your arms can be either out in front of you or stacked as a resting place for your forehead or alongside your body with your forehead touching the earth. Find what feels right for you today. Close your eyes and turn inward. Allow the rhythm of your breath to welcome you to your practice today. Whenever we begin a journey, the destination can feel far away and unreachable if we focus on the destination. Sometimes we can overwhelm ourselves with how far away and challenging it feels. But if instead we just break it down into baby steps and decide to focus on the baby step that is right in front of us, eventually the baby steps accumulate and become the big journey that once overwhelmed us. You can probably think of a time when you went on a long run with a friend or a hike and you were just enjoying connecting with each other, you were talking and sharing stories and suddenly you reached your destination and you arrived with a sense of, oh, I can't believe we're already here, it went so fast. That's an example of when you're enjoying the journey. You're less overwhelmed by the bigness of the distance that you're covering and often the joy of the journey actually becomes the destination. And so it can be a wonderful practice to just decide to focus on what is right in front of you and just beyond that and let that be enough for today. The next baby step will present itself the next day and a momentum builds. And when we do that one small baby step at a time, we can focus and keep ourselves out of overwhelmment and then we'll be more effective and we'll enjoy each step. And before we know it, there is the destination. The other wonderful thing that happens when we focus like that is that the journey becomes more pleasant because as we have learned many times, once we get to the destination, a new journey begins. And there's, so there really is no such thing as a final destination. It's all an ongoing journey. May our practice today help us settle into the baby steps, enjoy them and allow them to unfold naturally into an enjoyable journey that becomes its own destination. Enjoy one more big inhale here, inviting light and love into your body, and a deep, full exhale. Coming into a side body stretch from child's pose, if your arms were alongside your body or stacked in front, take them out in front of you and then walk your fingers over to the right. Keep your forehead reaching down towards the earth and then inch your left fingertips away from your body even more. You will feel a sweet stretch in your left side body. Enjoy one more deep breath here. And at the bottom of your exhale, walk your fingertips over to the left, inching your right fingertips as far away from you as you can, feeling a sweet stretch in your right side. And now walk your hands back to center and inhale, come up into cat pose on all fours with your hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. As you inhale here in cat, melt your heart between your arms and send your heart forward, lift your sit bones into an arch. Exhale, tuck your toes and round your back, gazing towards your navel. Inhale, arch and look up, breathing through your nose. Exhale, round the back, gazing back towards your navel and tucking your toes. As you inhale, release the toes and inhale, arch the back, looking up. Exhale, round and tuck your toes. Inhale, arch the back, release the toes, send your heart forward. Exhale, release the toes and round the back, gazing towards your belly. And inhale, arch, tucking the toes. Exhale, come into a neutral cat here and we'll come into a cat flow. So inhaling cat, exhale, press your hips back into child's pose. Continue looking forward as your hips pull back. The head is the last to release and then inhale, roll up, drag the fingertips back, take them behind you and open your chest, lift your heart towards the sky. Exhale, push off, press forward into cat, then take a cat bow. 
Looking forward as you bend the elbows, keep the forearms vertical. Inhale, come back to cat. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back into downward dog. Exhale, completely in downward dog. At the bottom of your exhale, come onto your toes and inhale as you lower your knees back down into cat. Exhale, press back into child's pose. Forehead brushes the mat. Inhale, pull the fingertips back. Plant teepee fingers behind you. Dial your outer shoulder skin right into the back of your heart and lift your heart. Exhale, press off. Come forward into cat and take a cat bow. Hug in with your hands and then gently bend your elbows as you lower your heart. Inhale, lift back up and into downward dog. Exhale, completely in downward dog. At the bottom of your exhale, come onto your toes, lower your knees back down to the earth. One more round, inhale and cat. Exhale, press back through child's pose. Inhale, rolling up, take TP fingers behind you, open your chest and lift your heart from behind. Exhale, push off, come back to cat and take a cat bow, bending your elbows, looking forward. Inhale, come back to cat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and press back into Downward Dog. Pause here in Downward Dog and begin to move your hips from side to side. Then come back into center and pedal your heels, bending one knee and then the other, bringing synovial fluid into the joints and mobilizing them. Then bring your Downward Dog into a stillness. From downward dog, on your next inhale, ripple forward into plank pose, top of a push-up, gently gazing forward, thighs firm and belly lifting in plank, and exhale, press back into downward dog. Two more like that, inhale, ripple forward to plank pose, keep the arms straight as you melt your heart closer to the earth, exhale, press back to downward dog. One more, inhale, rip for ripple forward into plank pose, integrate your shoulders by melting your heart, and exhale, press back into Downward Dog. From Downward Dog, walk your feet forward to the front of the mat and come into a forward fold. Take your hands to opposite elbows. Right hand to left elbow, left hand to right elbow. Breathe deeply here, allowing the weight of your head to traction your spine. Enjoy one more nourishing breath here. And at the bottom of your exhale, release your hands Take them to the front of your ankles, and as you inhale, slide your hands up your shins to your knees. Come into a flat back, offer your heart forward, look forward. Exhale, slide your hands back down your shins to your ankles. Two more like that. Inhale, slide your hands up to your knees. Come into a flat back, offer your heart forward. Exhale, release, hands slide down, coming into a forward fold. One more, inhale, come into a flat back, offer your heart forward. Exhale, release into a forward fold. From here, take your arms out like wings and come all the way up into standing like a flat back. Exhale, hands come home to the heart. Release your arms down by your side and we'll take some arm swings here. So just begin to swing your arms from side to side. At first, they're like empty coat sleeves. And then begin to lift the heel of the side that you're turning away from. And gently begin to bring a bend into your elbows and take your arms up a little higher. Feel the twist coming into the mid spine and even higher coming into the upper spine. And slowly bring your arm swings back down. We are as young as our spine is flexible. So doing these arm swings is a great way to bring flexibility to our spine and to keep us young. Slowly bring your swings all the way back down and then come into a stillness. Draw the bottom tips of your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Take your right hand to your left wrist. Reach your left wrist up and then exhale, bend over towards your right. Stay here and inhale, roll your heart towards the sky. Exhale, bend a little deeper. On your next inhale, lift up, release your right hand, and take your left hand to your right wrist. Stretch up through your right side, and as you exhale, bend over towards your left. Stay here, inhale, roll your heart towards the sky. Exhale, bend a little deeper. 
On your next inhale, come up to center, release your hands, and take them down by your side. Coming into standing mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up, offer your heart forward. Exhale, step your right foot back into a high lunge. Line your fingertips up with your front ankle. Your front shin is vertical, strong back leg. Pull the feet towards each other here to square the hips. Enjoy an inhale here in lunge. Exhale, stretch back, leg stretch. Bow over a long front leg. Inhale, come back into high lunge. Float your fingertips. Exhale, release the hands down and rock back to leg stretch, working towards straightening the front leg. Inhale, high lunge. This time, arms come out like wings. Stretch forward through your crown. Exhale, hands come down and rock back. One more inhale, rock forward into high lunge and reach your arms forward. Exhale, plant your hands, rock back and hold here. Ultimately and eventually, both legs will be straight. As you inhale, draw energy up your legs, hug muscle to bone, keep the legs steady and exhale, soften the boundaries of your skin. Inhale, steadiness, hug muscle to bone. Exhale, soften your eyes and jaw. One more inhale here. Exhale completely, draw your navel to your spine. And inhale, rock forward into high lunge. Pause here, coming into lunge twist. Keep the right fingertips inside the left foot. Turn the heart to the left, left arm to the sky. Pull the front and back leg towards each other like heck. Charge the right quadriceps to keep the back thigh bone moving upward. Tack your outer left hip back towards the back of the room. Inhale, draw length in your spine. Exhale, twist from your heart. One more inhale here, stretch away from a long back leg, stretching out through your heart and head. Exhale, unwind, plant your hand and step back into plank pose. Breathe here in plank, without bending your elbows, melt your heart. And slowly lower yourself down to the earth, landing belly, chest and thighs at the same time. Release all 10 toes, coming into cobra pulses. Inhale, cobra, elbows hug in, shoulder heads back, heart forward. Exhale, face down. Inhale, cobra, roll outer shoulder skin back, heart forward. Exhale, face down. One more, inhale, cobra, triceps back, heart forward. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into downward dog. And enjoy a few breaths here in downward dog. As you inhale in Downward Dog, drink energy through the palms of your hand into your strong straight arms and right into your heart. Keep your arms strong and straight and exhale, send the top of your thigh bones back. Feel your side body get long. On your next inhale, reach your right leg up and bend your right knee. Begin to circle your knee in one direction, bringing fluidity into your hip joint and then pause and reverse the direction of your circles. When your sides feel equal, straighten your right leg out behind you, kicking back through your right heel. Inhale, draw the knee in towards your chest and step the foot forward between your hands. Keep the back leg strong and steady and rise up into crescent pose, reaching your arms overhead. Take an adjustment in crescent pose and gently bend your back knee just slightly then hook your tailbone and re-extend your back leg. Feel the stretch go deeper into your back hip flexor. Arms are lifted. As you inhale, ask your armpits to draw back and shine your heart forward. Keep that and as you exhale, soften the boundaries of your skin. One more deep breath here in Crescent. At the bottom of your exhale, bend the back knee slightly, press off and step forward. Swan dive, forward fold. Interlace your hands, coming into extended shoulder stretch. Keep a micro bend in both your knees and your elbows to allow the freest flow of energy. Inhale here, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, soften your jaw. One more inhale. Exhale, completely draw navel to spine. Release your hands and inhale, reverse swan dive. 
Arms come out like wings and come all the way up into standing with the flat back. Hands come home to the heart. Same thing, second side. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up, offer your heart forward. Exhale, step your left foot back into high lunge. Line your fingertips up with your front ankle, vertical shin, strong back leg. Pull the feet together to square the hips and inhale here in lunge, stretching out through the crown of your head. Exhale, rock back, leg stretch. Hips up and back and bow over a long front leg. Inhale, rock back to high lunge, float your fingertips. Exhale, plant your hands, rock back to leg stretch. Again, inhale, rock forward to lunge. This time, take your arms out like wings. Exhale, hands come down. Rock back into leg stretch. Last one, inhale, rock forward into lunge, reaching your arms forward. Exhale, release the hands, rock back and hold. As you inhale, draw energy up your legs, hug muscle to bone, keep the legs steady. Exhale, soften your eyes and jaw. Again, inhale, steadiness. Keep that and exhale, soften the boundaries of your skin. One more inhale. As you exhale, draw your navel towards your spine. And inhale, rocking back into high lunge. Pause here, coming into lunge twist. Keep the left fingertips inside the right foot and turn the heart to the right, right arm to the sky. Pull the front and back leg towards each other. Charge the left quadricep. Keep it moving upward. Tack your outer right hip back towards the back of the room. Inhale, draw length in your spine. Exhale, twist from your heart. One more inhale here. And exhale, unwind. Plant the hand and step back into plank pose. In plank pose, without bending your elbows, melt your heart. And then, as slowly as you can, lower yourself down to the earth, landing belly, chest, and thighs at the same time. Coming into cobra pulses, inhale cobra, shoulder heads back, heart forward, gaze is forward, exhale face down. Inhale cobra, looking forward, exhale face down. One more, inhale cobra, triceps back, heart forward, exhale face down. From here, tuck your toes and lift yourself up and back into downward dog. Enjoy a few breaths in downward dog and observe how open and strong you are from your practice so far. On your next inhale, reach your left leg up. Bend your left knee and begin to circle your knee in one direction, bringing fluidity to the hip joint. Pause and then reverse the direction of your circles. And when your sides feel equal, straighten your left leg behind you, kicking back through your left heel. And inhale, draw the knee in towards your chest. Step the foot between your hands. Keep the back leg strong and steady. Inhale, rise into crescent pose, reaching your arms up. Taking that same adjustment on the second side, bend your back knee slightly and then tuck your tailbone. Now re-extend your back leg and feel how that deepens the stretch. As you inhale here, draw your armpits back and shine your heart forward. Keep that and exhale, soften the boundaries of your skin. Enjoy one more deep breath here. At the bottom of the exhale, bend the back knee slightly, press off and step forward. Swan dive, forward fold. Interlace the hands with the opposite thumb on top this time, coming into extended shoulder stretch. Hands reach over your head. Keep a micro bend in both your knees and elbows to allow the freest flow of energy. As you inhale, reach your interlaced hands up towards the sky. Exhale, soften your jaw. On your next inhale, reverse swan dive. Release the hands, arms come out like wings, come all the way up into standing, and hands come home to the heart. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Lower your hips, tuck your tailbone, and feel your core engage. Keep that and move your arms into vertical. 
In chair pose, the weight is in your heels, so it's literally like you're sitting back in a chair. You'll feel your quadriceps singing. Enjoy one more inhale here, lift your heart. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, sweet release. Inhale, come halfway up and offer your heart forward. Exhale, step back into plank pose. From plank pose, we'll come into side plank to wild things. So roll onto the outside edge of your right foot Stack your left foot on top. For a softer variation, you can take the left toes in front of the right. Hang out here in side plank or come with me into wild thing. For wild thing, take your left foot behind your right and press your feet down to lift your hips up. Reach your left hand towards the front of the room and enjoy a big breath. And exhale, unwind, come back into plank pose, second side. Roll into the outside edge of your left foot. Stack your right foot on top or take it out in front for a softer variation. Stay here for a few breaths in side plank or come with me into wild thing. Plant your right foot behind your left and lift your hips up, sending your right arm towards the front of the room. As you inhale here in wild thing, draw the shoulder blades down your back and lift your heart from behind. Exhale, soften your eyes and jaw. And slowly unwind, coming back to plank and lower yourself down to the earth. From here, hands come to either side of your heart. Inhale into Cobra. And exhale, come into Downward Dog. In Downward Dog, inhale, lift your armpits slightly. Keep the armpits lifting. And exhale, melt your heart. Again, in Downward Dog, lift the armpits. Keep them lifting. Exhale, melt the heart. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step the right foot forward. Release the back knee down to the earth, coming into lizard pose. Heel toe your front foot out to the right and place your hands inside your right foot. Make sure your front shin is vertical. There's a straight line from your knee to your ankle. And there's about a 45 degree angle with your back thigh. Option to stay here, up on fingertips or on your hands. Or if it's available for you today, see if you can lower yourself down onto your forearms. You can use a block or a book even as a landing pad for your forearms or come right onto the earth. But wherever you are, close your eyes and breathe into your hips. With each intentional breath, see if you can open your hips a little more. For the last two breaths, options, keep your knee down on the earth or to make it go deeper, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the earth. Deepen your breath and allow your exhales to open your hip a little bit more. And at the bottom of your next exhale, we'll release. You can release your knee down if it was lifted and then lift your upper body up. Coming into a quadricep here. So heel toe your right foot back to center. Then take the left hand to the inside of your right foot. Bend your back knee and reach your right hand around for your left foot. Turn your heart to face the front of the mat. Press your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot. Hook your tailbone to lengthen and protect your low back. Option to stay upright or to take this stretch even deeper, lower your left forearm to the ground. Make sure your front shin is vertical. Close your eyes and enjoy two more deep breaths here. At the bottom of your exhale, release your foot, tuck your back toes, take your hands to the inside of your front foot, pivot and turn to face the long edge of your mat. <clears throat> Begin to take hip sways, bending one knee and then the other. Keep your feet rooting into the earth as you sway from side to side and feel your thighs and inner groins opening. Take one more to each side. Then come back to center. Take your hands to your hips and come up with a flat back. Turn your toes out and slide your hands down the top of your thighs, bending your knees, coming into temple pose. Bring your hands into prayer in front of your heart and bow your head into the light of your heart. Bring to mind someone or something you would like to pray for. As you inhale, send your prayer up to the heavens and straighten your legs. Exhale, bend your knees, join pointer finger and thumbs as your hands come out to the side. Two more like that. Hands in prayer. Inhale, straighten your legs and send your prayer up to the sky. 
Exhale, bend your knees, join pointer finger and thumb, hands out to the side. Last one. Inhale, send prayer up and straighten your legs. Exhale, circle your arms down, take your hands to your hips. And fold forward. Pivot your toes to face the back of your mat and walk your hands so that they're on either side of your front foot. Lower your back knee down, coming into lizard pose, second side. Heel toe your front foot out to the left and then place your hands to the inside of your left foot. The front shin is vertical and there's about a 45 degree angle with that back thigh. Option to stay here or lower onto your forearms. Either forearms come to the earth or down onto a block or even a book. With each intentional breath, see if you can open your hips a little bit more. For the last two breaths, option to keep your knee on the earth or to deepen the stretch, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the earth. Deepen your breath and allow your exhale to open your hip a little bit more. At the bottom of your exhale, release, take your knee back down, lift yourself up, coming into the quadricep stretch here, heel toe your left foot back to center, take the right hand to the inside of the left foot and bend your back knee, reaching your left hand around for your right foot, turning your heart to face the short edge of your mat, press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot, hook your tailbone to lengthen and protect your low back option to stay upright or to take this stretch deeper lower your right forearm onto the earth make sure your front shin is vertical close your eyes and enjoy two more deep breaths here on your next exhale release release your foot tuck your toes and we're going to pivot turn to face the long edge of the mat and then take a few more hip sways, bending one knee and then the other, keeping the feet rooted into the earth as you sway from side to side. Now come back to center, take your hands to your hips and come up with a flat back. Turn to face the front of your mat. Step your feet forward and bring your hands into prayer. Bow your head into the light of your heart, close your eyes and turn inward. Check out the internal scenery. Notice what has shifted inside of you since you've started your practice. Take your hips, your feet wide and your toes point out. We're coming into Malasana. Bring your hands in prayer and bend your knees. Coming into yogic squat. You might want to roll up your mat and place it under your ankles or place a blanket under your ankles. Or come all the way down if you can. Taking your triceps to your inner thighs, press your triceps and thighs equally into each other and stretch tall through the crown of your head. Ask your shoulder heads to move back as your heart shines forward. Enjoy one more breath here. And release. Bring your sit bones down to the earth. Join the soles of your feet together and walk your hands back so that you come to lay on your back in Supta Baddha Konasana. Back of the hands rest on the earth. Coming into an upside down pigeon, on your next inhale, lift your knees, plant your feet down on the earth in front of you. Cross your right ankle above your left knee. Flex your right foot and draw your left foot up, drawing your legs towards your body. Thread the needle, take your right hand between your legs and wrap your left hand around the back of your left leg. Interlacing your hands behind your left leg. Gently ask your right knee to move away from your heart. Keep that, and as you exhale, draw your left knee a little closer. Enjoy a few nourishing breaths here in this hip opener. Hip openers can improve your alignment in other poses. They can also ease knee and back pain, and they can even change the way that you walk for the better. Two more deep breaths here. And exhale, release. Plant your foot back down to the earth, coming into the second side. So take your left foot and cross it just above your right knee. Flex your left foot and thread the needle. Take your left hand between your legs, wrapping your right hand around the back of your right leg. Interlace the hands behind your right leg. 
As you inhale, gently ask your left knee to move away from your heart. Exhale, ask the right knee to move a little closer. Feel your hip opening here. Many people store stress and negative emotions in their pelvic area and their hip. These hip openers can help in releasing these emotions. At times, the hip openers can feel unpleasant, but their benefits are huge. Two more big breaths here. And exhale, unwind, release. Just bring your bent knees in towards your chest. Arms come out in T position. We'll take a spinal twist. Bent knees go over towards your right. Gently turn your head to the left. And inhale, come through center. Exhale to the other side. Bent knees, go to the left. Turning your head to the right. On your next exhale, unwind, come back to center. Hug your knees in with your arms, bring them to your shins. And then exhale, release into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Legs go long, feet fall out to the side, arms come alongside of your body with the back of your hands resting on the earth, your palms open to receive. Let the entire surface of your skin soften as you close your eyes. Soften all of your muscles. This time in Shavasana is here for you to nourish yourself on a very deep level. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you can today. And imagine every single cell in your body receiving the benefits of your practice.